Now, what's eight foot long and travels indoors faster than the speed of sound? The answer, a whip. This weekend, they came from as far afield as Brighton and Manchester to the first British whip-cracking convention in Cardiff. Phil Croxall tried to keep up with the Indiana Joneses. <laughs> Don't do this at home. Get taught properly by, uh, by somebody. The owl is the sound of learning in whip cracking. I think when I saw it uh, being used at the opening of the Sydney Olympics, it was a realisation that, well, one day, hopefully, it'll be taken seriously uh, as a sport. It's a performance skill. Uh, it's an art form. The darts can be recognised as a sport. I think whip cracking will do as well. I'm here with my boyfriend today. His great grandfather was a and loads of horses and had a stop whip and feels it's part of his blood and wants to kind of give it a go. My, my whole body's probably covered in welts now. But at the beginning, um, I didn't realise I'd learn and get so far really and um, and I just like won this whip and I also did the target practice thing and I could do that. So for me, I'm really inspired now. It's a bit of escapism for me from, you know, being a housewife and my husband thinks I'm completely bonkers but what the heck, you know, I think he's mad for going out and playing golf all day long. I mean, I think Harrison Ford with a whip looks pretty sexy. <laughs> I'm going to say that. <laughs>